Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Remove Palindromic Subsequences. In this question we are given a string S consisting only of letters A and B. In a single step we can remove one palindromic subsequence from S. We need to return the minimum number of steps to make the given string empty. A string is a subsequence of a given string if it is generated by deleting some characters of the given string without changing its order. A string is called palindrome if it is one that reads the same backward as well as forward. In the first example, we can see that the string is already a palindromic string so we can just directly delete that and the output will be one as we needed one step to make the string into an empty string. Now in the second example, we need two steps to convert this string into an empty string. Now first we can delete the 2b which creates a palindromic string and then only remaining thing is a and we delete that. We can do the two steps in any particular order. In the third example, we see that the string is not a palindromic string. So we find the palindromic string. The palindromic string that we find is b a a then this b and we delete that and the remaining is only one letter b. So we delete that too and the output is two because we need two steps. Now. If the string is already an empty string, we directly return zero. The constraints given with the problem state that the length of the string can be between zero to the 1000 and it can only contain the letter A and B. Now this constraint is pretty important to solve this particular problem and we will see why. Before jumping to the coding part, let's see how we can solve this problem. So suppose this is the string given to us and we need to find how many steps will it take in order to convert this string into an empty string. So we see that this string is a palindromic string. So if the original string is a palindromic string, we would need just one step to convert that into a empty string. So let's keep that aside. And now we have another example with us. In this case, the original string is not a palindromic string. So there can be two cases. If we see those two cases, we see that a a is a palindromic string or b b b is also a palindromic string and we can perform the two operations in any particular order in order to convert this particular original string into an empty string. So we took two steps to convert this string into an empty string. So the answer is two. Now what about the string which contains only one character? So all the strings which contains only one character are already a palindromic string and will fall into the category where the result is 1. When we see this problem as a whole, we find out as there are only two characters that are allowed in this string, there are only three values that are possible in this case. That is 0, 1 and 2. 0 in the case when the string is empty, 1 when the string is a palindromic string. Otherwise, all that is left is the answer will always be 2. So now let's see how we can code this. So as discussed, we will check if the string is blank. If it is a blank string, then we can directly return zero. Now we need to check if the string is palindrome or not. If it is a palindrome, then we know that the answer would be one. Otherwise the answer will be two. Now we will implement this as palindrome method. You can always use the reverse function of the string and compare the two string to find it is a palindrome or not, but that requires an extra space. So we won't be doing that here. We will implement this as palindrome method, which will return true or false. So in this we have a left pointer and a right pointer. And now we loop till the left is less than the right pointer. We check if the character at the left is equals to the character at right. If these characters are not equal, then we are sure that it is not a palindromic string. We can directly return false from here. We will increment the left pointer and decrement the right pointer. And at the end, we are sure that the string is a palindromic string. So we'll return true. So that's all that we need to code in this particular problem. When we run the code for all the test cases, we get the right result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity is O of n while the space complexity is O of 1. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.